Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Aliyala. This video is all about CSAB 2023. So after JOSA rounds, mostly all of you know that CSAB will be conducted. CSAB, usually people call it as CSAB. Watch this video from the start till the end. You will get whole clarity on the CSAB. If you feel the same after watching this video, just comment down how you felt after watching this video. And if you are someone who is watching me for the first time, make sure you subscribe the channel and also do share this channel to all your friends who are going to attend CSAB counseling this year for 2023. Chalo, let's get into the video and get to know more details about CSAB 2023. So CSAB special 2023 is what I am going to talk in this particular video. Uh, so as I already said, there will be three kinds of CSAB. So first thing is CSAB NEUT, Northeastern and Union Territories. And there will be special category and there will be super numeric. So now the main focus is uh, the so CSAB special which is almost similar to JOSA. But here the number of seats will be less, very less than JOSA because only vacant seats, whatever seats left after six rounds of JOSA will be given in the CSAB special. Okay, what is CSAB special? The seat allotment process for seats left after all JOSA rounds. So this year there are six JOSA rounds, right? So whatever seats left after six rounds of JOSA, those seats will be allotted based on the ranks and based on choice filling. Whoever applies for CSAB 2023 special category. These are called special rounds, okay? Only for NIDs, IIIDs, GFTIs. That means only for NID plus system. Okay. So not for IITs. So there, are, there will be no chance for you to get into IITs through CSAB. All India rank will be considered. Here you will not have like your category rank will not be considered. But you know what? For example, if it's a EWS uh, category seat left vacant, that particular seat will be given to EWS student only. But they will just see the C CRL rank, but not the category rank so that is the only difference please don't confuse yourself there will be homestead and other state also in the csab next thing is uh, so we have uh, taken up this initiative like two years back so like where we are guiding some limited number of friends with the mentorship we are giving providing them 24 by 7 mentorship they will be having a personal mentor who will be guiding throughout the counseling process till they join the college so choice filling updates related to dates during document upload if any doubts you if, you if you come across any doubts or any problem they'll try to help you and resolve the issue as soon as possible in a proper way so if you also want a mentor for yourself like a big brother or big sister Come on, uh, do join our mentorship program. Link for that particular mentorship program registration is in the de description. Check that link, pay triple nine rupees. So, and you will get a personal mentor. You will be added to a WhatsApp group where I'll also be available. My number will also be there. I also connect regular meets. So, during the counseling to clear all your doubts. So, if you want to join that particular uh, mentorship, check the link in the description as well as in the comment section. I'm waiting for you, uh, you guys. Okay. So already we have guided almost 80 plus students during JOSA counseling. Very few slots are left for CSAB counseling. So if you want to, if you are interested, do check out the link and register as soon as possible. What will be the effect of uh, CSAB on JOSA seat? So this is what many people are being confused. For example, in CSAB, you have registered for CSAB and if seat is allotted, then your JOSA seat will be cancelled automatically. You can't go back to the JOSA seat. Please keep that in the mind. So next thing is, if you didn't got any seat allotment in CSAB, your JOSA seat will be there only if you have completed payment of seat acceptance fee payment and parcel admission fee payment. Money paid in JOSA will be transferred to the newly allotted college in CSAB after deduction of 4,000 by JOSA processing by JOSA as a processing fee. See, if you attend CSAB, you might ask me, we have, as you said, we have paid seat acceptance fee payment and parcel admission fee. What happens to that money we pay to that college? So here you are not paying to the college, you are paying to the JOSA and CSAB. So after deducting all the processing fees, the remaining fee will be transferred to the college where you join at the end after two rounds of CSAB. Next thing is who are all eligible for this particular CSAB counseling. See, first thing is, I just don't want to confuse you guys. Whoever is eligible for JOSA are eligible to attend CSAB, but there are some rules. Okay. So let me discuss clearly with you. First thing is students uh, who did not participate in JOSA can also directly participate, register themselves newly in CSAB. Okay. Done. Next thing is you got like you participated in JOSA. You got some seat and secured a NID plus system by paying a CF plus PF. So you got some exceed in uh, NIT plus system, triple IT, NIT or GFTI. In any of the college, you got some seat. You paid both seat acceptance fee payment and partial admission fee payment. If you pay both of them, you are eligible to at attend CSAB by paying this 4,000, which is also like processing fee that is not refundable. So only for those who paid both of them, 
फोर थाउजेंड इज द रजिस्ट्रेशन फी फॉर सी एस ए बी रिगार्डिंग रजिस्ट्रेशन फी विल टॉक एज यू मूव फॉरवर्ड बट कमिंग टू दिस यू आर एलिजिबल नेक्स्ट थिंग इज यू पार्टिसिपेट इन जोसा बट ड्यू टू सम रीजन सम रीजन कैन बी एनी थिंग लेट लेट फी पेमेंट ऑफ सीट एक्सेप्टेंस फी और लेट फी पेमेंट ऑफ पार्सल एडमिशन फी और रॉन्ग डॉक्यूमेंट अपलोड एनी रीजन ड्यू टू एनी रीजन यूर सीट गॉट कैंसल ड्यूरिंग जोस अराउंड बट यू आर स्टिल एलिजिबल इन सी एस ए बी बट मेक श्योर यू डोंट डू द सेम मिस्टेक इन द सी एस ए बी इफ इट्स ड्यू टू लेट फी पेमेंट दिस टाइम कीप द अमाउंट रेडी एंड पे वेन एवर दे आस्क इफ इट्स ड्यू टू रॉन्ग डॉक्यूमेंट अपलोड ट्राई टू अपलोड प्रॉपर डॉक्यूमेंट नाउ ओके सो लाइक यू आर ऑल्सो एलिजिबल फॉर सी एस ए बी नेक्स्ट वन इज यू हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन जोसा बट सम ड्यू टू सम रीजन यू एक्सिटेड फ्रॉम द काउंसलिंग और विथ ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द काउंसलिंग स्टिल यू आर एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई फॉर सी एस ए बी नेक्स्ट यू पार्टिसिपेटेड इन जोसा गॉट सम सीट इन आई आई टी सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई गॉट आई आई टी कर माइनिंग ओके सो नाउ आई एम लाइक हैव वेरी गुड जे ई मैं रैंक आई माइट गेट एन आई टी वारंगल सी एस सी आई एम लाइक जस्ट आई विल ट्राई माई बेस्ट इन सी एस ए बी काउंसलिंग वेदर इफ आई कैन गेट एन आई टी वारंगल सी एस सी और नॉट आई एम लाइक इफ आई गेट दैट आई शूली गो देर I will leave IIT KGP mining. You can still apply for CSAB, but only one condition is whatever amount you are paying in the JOSA, that amount you will not get to the NIT Varangal CSC if you get the seat in NIT Plus system due through CSAB. So this is the only issue with all those people who wanted to attend for CSAB even after getting some seat in IIT. So that that is the only issue. People, few people will say whoever gets seat in IIT are not eligible for CSAB. You are eligible, but the thing is, whatever amount you are paying there will not be refundable. It's up to that college, IIT Kharagpur, for example. In my case, if it's IIT Kharagpur, I have to request IIT Kharagpur. It's up to them whether they will give a refund or me, uh, refund or not. So you need to request them. You need to talk to them. Those and CSAB will not involve in that. But majority cases, there is a high chance that you will lose your money. That's it. Okay. So it's up to you whether you complete IIT process or not. So the dates you have to be careful with the dates. What is the deadline to uh, self-report there? So when you are getting the round allotment year, so check the dates properly and then only if you got some seat in IIT, then only you go for CSAB participation. Okay. So next thing is CSAB 2023 schedule. I know most of you are waiting for this. Let me show you that. So this is the schedule for CSAB 2023 special rounds uh, for NITs, IIST, IIITs, SPA. School of Planning and Architecture and other GFTIs. So if you see there is no IITs, I already said it right. So now the thing is, uh, if, if someone want to uh, like restore their category, that means during JOSA due to some reason, if you are unable to submit your proper documents for any category and you got to general category, so again you have a chance to go back to your own category, original category. For example, I chose OBC NCL during application, but I was not able to submit the document during JOSA, so I have to shift to general. Now I got the document. If you, if I once again go back to OBC NCL, I can go. So for that registration is starting on 30 July and ending on 31st July. So please uh, inform to uh, all the people who who are in this particular case. If they have the document, they can change their category once again. Okay. Now the thing is last day to respond to query. So if there is an issue after applying here, if there is something any mistakes, so they will again raise a query before 5 p.m. of 1st August. If they solve it, their uh, category will be restored. Okay. Next thing is display of vacancies after JOSA for like vacant seats display will be on 3rd August 10 a.m. So you will get that, and registration will start after that. So registration payment of special round enrollment fee. Regarding this fee, don't confuse. I'll talk about that as we move forward. So registration will be ending on 7th August. So choice filling ends on 8th August. So till 8th August 12 noon, you will have. Choice filling time. Okay, that means almost like five to six days. So in this five to six days, you have to complete your choice filling based on the vacancies, based on whatever people got last year. So I will be giving one strategy for you all, for all of you, which majority of the people miss out. So I will be making a separate video. If you want that video, do let me know in the comment section. So if you also want someone who wanted to mentor you or guide you throughout the CSCB counselling process, so we are here. do check out the mentorship registration link in the description and comment section register for our mentorship we'll, we are here to guide you and mentor you so very limited seats are there so just check out the link so round 1 seat allotment will be happening on 8th august 8 pm okay so on 8th august 8 pm you will get the round 1 allotment and after getting round 1 allotment the process will be same as josa you will be having options like freeze slide float but apart from these three there will be three more options so that is surrender withdraw exit So what is surrender? Surrender allotted seat and participate in. So whatever seat you got, uh, you are like I don't want to go. So I just I just want to surrender this seat. I don't want this seat, but I want to participate in the next round. 
so that is surrender what is withdraw i don't want this seat okay and i don't want to participate in the second round also in the both of these cases in the second case you will get the refund of amount after deducting some uh, fine and uh, processing fee and all so all that you will we'll talk later and exit you didn't got any alert uh, like you didn't got any seat allotment and you don't want to participate in this round two also in this case also whatever amount you've paid will be coming back but in this case they will check the allotment in round two if at all you don't didn't get any seat allotment in the round two in that case they will refund you if you get you have to go to that college only if you if you are after getting if you don't want to again uh, join the college your money will not be back okay so this is about the options and online reporting will be there so payment of institute uh, admission fee to document upload respond to query i have documents and verifying others verifying officer if whoever i have already paid csf and pf in dosa you need not to pay any rupee again in csav the same amount will be enough okay you need not to pay extra except for the registration fee which will be 4000 that's it okay whoever paid csf and paf in dosa so please note that okay so last day to exercise surrender or withdraw or exit option is exit option is 11th so all this uh, process will be from 8th august 8 pm to 11th august 5 pm so 12th august 3 pm is the deadline for you to if you want to surrender or withdraw or exit and last day to respond to queries of document verifying officer if there is an issue if there is query you have to respond it before 5 pm of 12th august if you miss out any of the deadline you will be out of the counseling this deadline is all those people who want to withdraw or exit or uh, cancel their seat or surrender their seat that's it so not for all okay next thing is round 2 allotment will be out on 13th august sunday 5 pm and from 13 to 17 you have to follow the same process as above which i explained for round 1 if you got the allotment newly if you already got in csb round 1 you need not to do the same process again so last day to respond to query is 18th august 5 pm so from 14th august to 21st august this is the dates so physical reporting at the whatever seat you got for example you got triple id agartala go to triple id agartala and report there if you miss out reporting again your seat will be cancelled so after getting some seat try to check the official website of those colleges they will provide you with all the important updates there and the process of admission and required documents you have to check their website properly and based on that only whatever they need you have to carry them to the during the physical reporting if you miss out anything they will cancel your seat next thing is clarity on registration fee many people are confused with the registration fee how much you have to pay and all so i will just give you simple uh, idea okay so if you are a new registration you didn't register for josa you directly want to participate csab okay you didn't got any seat in josa you have participated but you didn't got any seat in josa and you are again applying for csab in that case your fees will be 44000 general ews obc ncl sc st pwd 24000 in this 4000 in this 4000 is csab processing fee the remaining 40 20 if at all you get a college they'll transfer that amount if you don't get any college you will get your refund back regarding that 40 and 20 44000 they will take okay next coming to others coming to all other category whatever it shows after registration pay that amount in that 4000 is non refundable for for few people it will show 11000 for few people it will show 8000 for few people it shows 7000 for few people it will show 4000 for few people it will show 23 33 so according to whatever case you are few people paid asf didn't pay pf few people paid both of them few people paid didn't few people didn't pay anything so depending on the situation depending of what your case is so they will they will show you how much you have to pay as a registration fee you have to pay that amount okay so don't confuse according to this there will be nine types of candidates depending on what they paid for in josa or not whether they appear josa what what are all the amount they paid so don't confuse with all of this just register go to csb website link in the description click on registration on of course not now when the when the registration starts once you click that they will show pay this much amount in order to continue pay that amount and close the deal that's it so that's about the registration fee i just don't want to confuse you guys with all that stuff okay next thing is refund of fee paid so many people are asking me this see first thing uh, in all the cases if you withdraw your seat in the first round of csab you will get your money back if you don't get any seat in any of the round you will get your money back but once after getting allotment in csab round 2 if you don't join that college if you don't pay the par, uh, iaf2 on time if you don't submit your document properly once after getting round 2 allotment so you should complete all, all the process or else you will not get the refund so in that case after round 2 if you don't join that college 
in that case the refund will be totally in the hands of that particular college whether they want to give it or not it's up to them so finally once again if you want to join our josa csap mentorship which we started 2 years back so this is a successful third year so very few slots are left do check out the payment link in the description pay the amount join there we are ready to help you out okay so i hope with this video you got a very good clarity on csab 2023 counseling if you feel the same do let me know in the comment section as well as make sure you share this video to all your friends who are going to attend csab counseling this year okay chalo uh, that's it for this video guys uh, see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind chalo please 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 whoever didn't subscribe yet do subscribe guys i am working a lot for all of you guys i am managing my job and this particular youtube so for all the work i am doing for all of you guys you have to show me some love just with a small subscribe and like to this video that's it okay chalo bye